Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1046 for Monday, March 15th, 2010. Michelin Smart Jumper Cables. The Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by GoToMeeting, the affordable way to meet with clients and colleagues. For your free 30-day trial, visit GoToMeeting.com slash Gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. It's a brand new week, a brand new day, and you know what I'm talking about, Bubba. A brand new Gizwiz. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new Daily Gizwiz. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new daily gives with The worse your life day and a brand new week and a brand new day The better we sound it's it makes its own gravy The worse your life day and a brand new day and a brand new day The better we sound The worse your life the better we sound sound and now, ladies and gentlemen, the star of our show, Dick DiBartolo. Hello, Leo, Dick Leo, how you doing? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. A brand new week. Everything's, and a brand new day. And a brand new daily... Gizwiz. Yeah, it's just a Gizwiz. Tech guy. Gizwiz. <laughs> yes, Never know. I do You'll so get it yet. So many shows. It's still a learning curve for you. <laughs> Curves the right... Uh, Curve, yeah. You know, I was watching you uh, on uh, Net at Night with uh, Jason and David. And, you know, it's so funny because uh, you are, you fit right into that book because you have a company that is not huge. Right. But very successful. Right, sort of. And, yeah, so I don't know why you, I, I, at some point I think you said it was, it was very small what you had done. Yes, it is but, small. Well, no, you know, I knew when you started, all you had was an empty desk. Remember back? That's then? true. You were you were here for the empty desk days. <laughs> for the empty desk. Yeah, that's true. Guess, I, I think I remember you saying, "I think I have a microphone here, <laughs> and maybe a light over there." No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, and then yeah. like it wasn't until the year three that like you know you were big enough you could crush people and wipe out egos and make people f afraid of you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're t we were talking, we were interviewing these guys who wrote the, they, they're actually really well known in the web community. They, uh, David Han Heinemeyer Hansen wrote Ruby on Rails, which is a, a software uh, tool that is used by so many websites to start businesses. And Jason Fr uh, Freed, they're, they're the uh, guys who started a company called 37 Signals, and they wrote a book called Rework, which is, you know, kind of the secrets, they, what they've learned uh, running a, a newfangled web business. And so much of it applies to Twit, really. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, all the time they were talking, I kept thinking, that sounds like Twit. That sounds like Twit. Yeah. Well, yeah. like things like this. Um, pay your hosts at, at the absolute least amount possible. Yeah, right? that's, that sounds... Page 50, right there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when, is that yeah. is that accredited to you? Is that a quote? <laughs> I think it is. Bounce checks whenever possible. Right there. That's page, there you go uh, again. There you go. Yep. So that's yep. the textbook that mm -hmm. you were using. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. well, that's the funny thing. This just came out. It's almost as if I was channeling them. Here's one: sleep whenever you can. Page two hundred forty. Well, now that's something you don't observe. No, I'm afraid not. Some of this stuff is very interesting, like why you should never take outside money, why you shouldn't be a workaholic. This actually it was a really, a really neat book, and, a, and a, it did affirm some of the things that we've done with Twit, and then it completely cast uh, cold water on, on most of the things that I've done. No, no, no. If this yeah. is fun. You know, I'm just having You have a I'm plan. A You're, you know, it's very funny because someone in the chat room said, Leo works around the clock, and then someone else wrote, Leo has 
fun pretty much around the clock and work <laughs> just a little. But it's true. It's, it's, it's but a actually, combination. I'm more like in front of the clock than around the clock. Yes, exactly. Yes. I yeah. think that's what sets you aside from other people. How many, you know, think about it, though. How many, the, the clock, we, we joke about the clock. This is, uh, it, was, yes. it was one of my uh, Turn the Table Tuesdays picks. It's the Skyscan digital clock, which is always on screen. How many, can you think of any other television show that has a clock a live real-time clock on the screen? They don't because they don't want no. you to know a reruns. Exactly. And we, we meaning you, embrace the rerun world. Frankly, the more reruns we play, the happier I am. <laughs> that means free stuff. Free no, I, stuff. I, the clock was an afterthought. Colleen and I were going down the aisle at the Costco. We were actually shopping for TVs, and I said, oh, that'll be fun. I threw it in the basket. And, you know, those baskets at Costco, they're so big, they really beg for you to throw things in them. Absolutely. It's two points every time. They're motorized, aren't they? <laughs> they ought to be. They ought to give you a winch. <laughs> the <laughs> amount of crap I buy. Last time I was at Costco, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm going, this is going uh, to be a lot of money. It was $815. Are you serious? That's a lot of toilet paper and tortilla chips, I got to tell you. Well, you know what? My very first trip to Home Depot, you know, New York City, we don't have a Home Depot. You know, the hardware store is as close as you get to a Home Depot. And, oh, maybe 10 years ago, a neighbor of mine at the marina said, hey, do you want to go uh, to Home Depot? And, uh, and I said, you know, I was just going to go for a ride. I said, but you know what? It's cheaper to go to Home Depot because I won't burn any gas. So I went to Home Depot and you about spent? $387 later. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. Isn't it? People say that guys don't shop. Not true. No. We don't shop for shoes and clothes. We shop we for sh stuff, though. Stuff. Tools. Man, tools. Wire. You know, what? they have wire here? Oh, I love I, wire. I, they have red wire. I need a <laughs> hundred feet. <laughs> Can I, I try it? Does this wire make my butt look fat? Can I try that on? <laughs> That's very funny. That's very oh, funny. Oh, jeez. No, we will, you know, we love hardware. We love gadgets. We love, we'll shop. We shop. Yeah. Tools. Yeah. We shop. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Gadgets. I mean, come on. This is, uh, the whole show is about shopping, really. Uh, about, uh, yeah. Thank God that, uh. <laughs> Uh, we, <laughs> I have an outlet for this, some of this crap that I have. Oh, well, let's be honest. The yes. whole reason you and I are in the business we are in is so that we can write off our addiction to garbage. That is correct. Yes. I mean, because this is, I could not go to the hardware show and say, right. it's a vacation. It's right. there. The, the hardware Therapy. show, I could get Therapy. a doctor's note yes. to say I need to go to the Precisely. hardware show. Precisely. Yeah, it's Therapy. it's my university. <laughs> <laughs> we need it. Write that down. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That. I remember that for the IRS next time yeah. we're in there. Yeah, it's my therapy. <laughs> it's a medical expense, doc. It's a medical expense. Yes. It's my educational expense, and it's how I find stuff to report on. It's all those are so many valid reasons that make some of the other stuff you deduct really look criminal <laughs> really you know it's yeah. a good point this is so yeah. obviously a deduction uh, yeah your honor this is like, <laughs> right you, you go your honor your honor why pick on that i mean that's one of the valid deductions <laughs> you should be looking at the other crap yeah exactly uh, never mind. exactly never mind. Mm. never mind so you watch the oscars wasn't it fun now we're, we record this uh, uh a week early so you're listening to this on uh what is it march 15th but, but we just saw the Oscars because we live in a time warp. We do, we do, and Once I again, loved it. I just, I thought Alec Baldwin and Steve Martin were oh, very they, they funny. They broke me up. I they knew they would because it was your kind of humor. Absolutely, At, and, and yes, it was my. After the, the speech, the guy they, they the, worked the, great the, together. Oh, they were. It was like they. It was like you and me, only talented. Yes, exactly. It was incredible. Funny. No, that was fun. And Handsome. once again, you and I, neither one of us won an Oscar, mainly because the Academy has those archaic, <sighs> stupid yeah. rules. You have to have been in a movie. Silly. In the previous year. Silly. Yeah. Or worse, you had to make a movie. I mean, come on. Who has time oh. to do that? Yes, exactly. Thank you very much. We're podcasting. 
me just one day a week or some part of five days a week, you round the clock. We haven't got time for that. We don't have time for that. Come on. Why I order? <laughs> anyway, no, I really enjoyed it. We, um, I had purchased, uh, I don't know if you knew this, and I should make it a Turn the Tables Tuesday, but it's you can't buy it anymore, so maybe it wouldn't be a good one. But remember Pioneer used to make these really good plasma TVs called Kuros, K-U-R-O, and they got out of the business in March. They stopped. They yes, said, my nearest start, yes. They don't the make competition plasmas. was way too, yep. And everybody was buying LCDs. But but all the reviewers, Scott Wilkinson, who does our Home Theater Geeks podcast, all the people, which, by the way, if you're into the home theater, that's a great show. He does that every Monday on our network. Um, oh. He he and everybody I've talked to said this is the best. Robert Heron does high-def TV reviews for uh, Revision 3. said this is the best TV we've ever used. And it was being discontinued. Wow. I, it was. It's sixty inches. It's big. It's wow. Huge. I don't think you could actually fit it in your apartment. There'd be no, nowhere I could share to put it with it. the people next door. Right. You'd have to put we it in just the hall. Put a slit in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. They get half. Thirty inches each. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And it, but it, it wasn't horribly expensive. I think it was under three thousand dollars. Anyway, I set we. I bought it uh, a month ago, and I've been waiting for cabinet work because I cannot fit it. It's so big, it doesn't fit in my uh, living room. And so I ordered a special cabinet just for it, but it hasn't come. It won't come in the month. Gonna watch, like watch it, uh, watch it through the window in the yard. Yeah, I if it doesn't it, fit in, if no, it, it doesn't in the yard. In. Well, I'd have to take the roof off the house to get it in the house. Oh, okay. So you have building a cabinet outside a picture window. Exactly. You dick. You got it. Yeah, it'll be great if we keep the birds from nesting in it. It'll be great. Perfect. But, but until then, I put it in the window seat, and we watched. It. I set it up for the first time. We watched the Oscars. Wow. I felt like I was on the red carpet. Wow. Yeah. I sent out a tweet that you, I were on the yellow bath mat. <laughs> <laughs> Which was just I was following you miles from the red carpet. I was following your tweets, I have to admit, uh, during the Oscars and quite enjoying them, I must say. You, you, made, it, you made it more fun. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah, it was a okay. lot of fun. And I always forget, uh, if, if you follow me on Twitter, it's slash the gizwiz. Twitter.com slash the, the gizwiz. Giz all one Wiz. word, no underscores or anything like that. Exactly. Now, yeah. Leo, I'm going to show you know what you actually, you're doing a car gadget tomorrow. I am right? tomorrow, yes. Okay. I'm doing a car gadget today. Now, I'm going to hold up the end of a pair of battery cables. And see if you can tell me what might be different about this set of battery cables. Well, they look like your standard, you know, jumper cables with the big clips on them. Right. Um, but there's some, there's there something... There is something little... different. There is something different. Um, those, those are made of plastic. Mm, no? Not really. They're like Barney, well, normally... Barney clips. <laughs> normally, battery cables at the end have some indication... Of red or black. They do, and those are both blue. They're both blue. What's the deal? Ah, ah, ah. This is actually this is something very clever. It's from Michelin, and they're called the smart jumper cables. Oh, I'm so sick and, of dumb jumper cables. Yes, exactly, yes. exactly. So the, the reason that these have no colors at the end is because any clamp goes on any a uh, positive or negative part of the battery because the center of this has a little intelligent piece of electronics that can tell which terminal it's at, negative or positive, and it'll just hook them up automatically. What? Come on. Really? <laughs> I kid you not. That's... Now, there's two little LED lights, and the, there's the center of the cables has the little electronics. Oh. Each LED lights up to tell you just that they're making a positive connection. And also, you know, a lot of uh, companies today say all you have to do is hook up the positive terminal to the battery, and the negative clamp can go on a clean piece of metal to be the ground. Just right. have to make sure that it's connected to the right. to the engine directly in in some way, but the thing is, if you hook up battery cables incorrectly, you could blow up the battery. Yeah, and you could send a surge through the wiring with today's electronics. You could really fry a lot of stuff. Oh, I didn't even think of that. 
Yeah, you know, on boats, they always tell you, make sure that you really have the battery terminals in the correct way. So with these, you don't have to worry. You just clippy, clippy, clippy. And any way you do them, they will, will be the correct way. That is so fantastic. It's a very clever thing. And then the LED lights at each end tell you that it's making contact. If you happen to have an old battery, you know, you have to sort of jiggle it around a little so you make sure you uh, get a clear shot at the, at the metal part of the post. And this will tell you, so when the LED lights up on one end, those two terminals are in firm contact, and then you do the other end. Uh, their list price is 40 bucks. Walmart is going to be carrying them. And I did a little web search on Amazon, and I, they're uh, $34.99. Oh, that's a, so if, that's a good deal. I mean, that's no more expensive than regular jumper cables. No, no, not at all. Yeah. So Michelin Smart Jumper Cables. And uh, if you can get it, I think it's michelinsmartcables.com. Oh, but you're right on top of things. You already found it. I looked it up. And also, <laughs> uh, fortunately, we're coming into warm weather, but it also says that the textured grip and the cables will not harden in cold weather, which is also good because... <laughs> Neither will I, I, for that matter. Yeah, so. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You ever take out something that's sort of frozen and you uncurl it and you let go of oh, one end no and good. it comes back and hits you right in the head? Yeah, not <laughs> it's good. so used to being uh, curled up, coiled up. Right. Anyway, MichelinSmartCables.com is Correcto Mundo. And uh, that uh, concludes this. Oh, no, we got more. We got no. a letter. But before when, we do the yeah. letter, before we do the yes. letter, can I mention, my friends, those good people who are so helpful to this show to keep us going at Citrix. You know about them, right? And, yes, and, I do. And you've used, I mean, one of the reasons I think they sponsor this show is because they know that you, you, my friend, are a happy customer of go to meeting, I am. You, I am. You use this with Ludwig to plan your new site. Did you use it for, uh, for Gizwiz search, and then use use it for a new site with Squarespace? Yes. Uh, I used it with uh, the guy who did my 3D logo, uh, ah. 3D 3D Gym, I think. Dot com. Ah. Yeah. Very good. And not only that, but I have a letter when we get to it that will also reinforce our message. <laughs> Good. Well, yeah. let me make, let me give you the message. If you go to go to meeting.com slash actually promo code gizwiz, right? No, I guess they got slash gizwiz. Hey, that's good news. We got the slash gizwiz. Go to meeting.com slash gizwiz. You can try it for free for 30 days. Now, what is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's a, uh, it's online meeting software from the folks at Citrix. So, you know, it's a couple of things. It's going to be fast. It's going to be easy to install. It's going to be 128-bit SSL encrypted, so it's completely secure. It's going to make it fun for you and fun for your presentees. And that's important, especially if you're doing a sales presentation. You're not going to get that giant uh, client to jump through hoops for you. That's terrible. Client, you know, you got to coddle them. You're trying to make a sale here. They love GoToMeeting. It's simple. You can either send them an email saying, hey, looking forward to our meeting, 3 in the afternoon tomorrow. Click this link when it's time, or you can even tell them while you're on the phone with them. Hey, you know, I'd really, I got a great presentation. I'd just like to show you what we can do for you. Would you do me this favor? Are you in front of a browser? Yes. Go to gotomeeting.com. Click the join a meeting button. Okay. Now, here's the meeting ID. They enter the nine-digit number, and boom, they're seeing your computer. It's so mind-boggling. They go, whoa, that's cool. And they say, and in their minds, they're thinking, this guy knows his stuff. He's very good. This is impressive. This is good. This is even before you start the presentation, they're impressed. Show the boss, the, your clients, your colleagues, great for training, great for collaboration, and it's free for 30 days. Now, that's going to impress everyone. Go to gotomeeting.com slash gizwiz. Yes, we've got the, we've got the URL now. Gotomeeting.com slash gizwiz. Sign up today. You're going to love it. And, I, and I'll tell you what, if after 30 days you don't, that's fine. No cost to you, no obligation. But I have a feeling you're going to find all sorts of great business uses for it. Go to meeting.com slash gizwiz. We thank them so much for their support of the Daily Gizwiz Show and for helping Dick design a great site. They did a really good job.
wish I could go that high. I finally saw the This Is It movie. What a oh, great it's movie. great, isn't it? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. It's on DVD now. Get it, folks. Unbelievable. Just fantastic. And Blu-ray DVD. You know, I, Jennifer bought it, and she doesn't know from Blu-ray, even though I have a 60-inch television set with, with, with a Blu-ray player. And all, she doesn't know from Blu-ray. She said, well, I got the DVD. I said, well, yeah, okay. I said, next time just... Yeah, well, she, she could have brought home VHS, too, you know. Uh, so you this, just, She does. She, she has. I, she, <laughs> I, okay. I, I kid you not. Not oh, too long ago, she said, the video store went out of business. I got an incredible deal. Look in the shopping bags. And there's like 40 VHS tapes. Oh, my word. Do you have anything to play them? I Yes, because I'm married to Jennifer. I have a VCR because oh, oh. this happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's not, you know, isn't it odd that somebody like me, who I think, I, uh, I think I'm kind of techie. I'm a little, I'm into this stuff. Kind of techie. <laughs> is married to a woman who has not only no interest, she couldn't, she hates it. She's actively yeah. against technology. No, she's not. She's not against it. She's not against it. She just does but, not. It's not in her no, world. She, it's not. It's not her thing. Not because, her thing. Well, no, on the on the wine train, she said, "I just love listening to your nodcast." <laughs> exactly. I said, "No, I don't think she's. I don't think she's ever. Ever. No, I don't think. Right. I'm sure Leo ever. said he's into no. nodcast. She, she, uh, she's the like. A, okay, how long have I been doing this? Five years. A month ago, she says. <laughs> Honey, I went to um, your site, and there's a woman with a big butt on it. I said, what? What site did you go to? I went to twit.live.tv. I said, no, that's live.tv. That's not me. Well, wait a minute. You're Twit Live, right? Yes, twit.live.tv. No, no, there's an extra dot in there. I'm not that lady with the big butt. She said, there's a lady with a big butt on your site. I feel like I'm married to Gracie Allen. Oh, that's very funny. That's but very anyway, funny. lovely, lovely hey. woman. <laughs> oh, she's great. What are you kidding? I miss she her. She loves you. <clears throat> this is it. This is the site. Twit.live.tv. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. So no and, and wonder she said. do that, Yeah, right? she said, I mean, like, well, yeah, I don't, it's live.tv. I don't own that site. Wow. So. Uh, get it. Maybe you should get a discount at that site. <laughs> Honey, why is there a naked woman on your side? I don't understand. I thought you were an honorable, decent broadcaster. No, honey, I'm not. I'm... Uh, anyway. But anyway. she's still great. She's, she's cool. I love her. She brought she's home the DVD. Land. At first I said, oh, you should have got Blu-ray. And then I realized, you know what? This is all camcorder footage. It's not high def anyway. It was just behind the scenes stuff, right? So it was okay. Yeah, but they uh, somewhere, I think the very beginning, Michael, uh, somewhere says, are you sure you're shooting all this in the in the high def? Oh, really? Because, oh, so yeah, it is in high def. He really was. Uh, yeah, he was a perfectionist. He was amazing. Yeah. Oh my word! Oh, I wish I had he an ounce of his. You look difficult. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and but you know what's great? After he he says, um, "It's like drilling into my ears." I love you. God loves you, but it's drilling into my. It's killing you me. You should. You could do a little of that. I you might do, do more of that. Dane, Dane, could you get me lunch? I love you. I love you. That's better. I think Dane would appreciate that. <laughs> it was so cute. He's so cute, and he was so talented. Ah, <gasps> uh, uh, I yeah. Uh, it makes you. It makes you. I mean, it made me very sad. That Every, this you know, I don't know how he could have done that show. So because talented. Every song was an elaborate production with booms. Move. I, I mean. People, the dancers had to be careful that they were right on cue, that they didn't get dumped in a hole or hit no. with a boom. Or, did, you yeah. see, did you see the one where the, they got the toaster move? They're on a, a, a platform below the stage. Right. And the dancers are standing there, and then the thing has two speeds. It has a raise you up speed, and then it has you, it eject you into the air speed. And yes. they're standing, and they fly into the air like a toaster. I know. <laughs> I know. Dick, we we've arranged. Yes, I was sure. just going to say we've arranged for a little surprise for you, Dick. If you'll look below your chair right now, yeah, let me you'll see. see a giant spring. Oh my word! <laughs> now, if I push <laughs> this button here, yeah, the spring will. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> he needs an injector seat. That's good. That worked, didn't it? Holy cow! Pretty impressive, hey? Very. Yes. Very. Colleen. I thought I saw Colleen leaving my building. You saw the, the twit truck outside? <laughs> yeah, the twit yes. truck. So a letter, my friend. A letter is from Bill Lieber, L-I-E-B-E-R. And he says... Dr. Lieber. Dear Dick Lieber. 
Dear Dick and Leo, you guys saved my marriage. Wow. Exclamation point. To say I travel a lot is an understatement. I spend three days home for every three weeks on the road. Oh, my gosh. That poor guy. The strain on my marriage was great. But thanks to the two of you and your sponsor, yes. go to meeting. Uh -huh. I no longer have to go home to have some quality time with my wife. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you, Dick and Leo. A new use. I am in your debt. Oh, isn't that nice? Signed. Oh, his nickname is Lost Boy. Oh. Uh, and he, he's in San Diego, California. That's a good name for somebody who's on the road all the time. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Three week, three days out of three weeks. Wow. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Well, Dick, tomorrow I'm going to get to work. He says, you know, it's funny because you just did a car thing. I have a car thing. And the the thing is, I'm like an oil separator. Yes, it's a little. Like, you know, if you if you get oil, water in oil, it's very bad for the car. It's the upchuck for 10W40. It's amazing. Wow, the no, auto up auto chuck. separator. Yeah, the auto upchuck. No, it's funny because you don't have a car, you don't drive, and uh, you're in New oh. York. You don't need a car. So I figured I will do the car things, and then you do a car thing. Well, the car thing could be a boat thing. Could be a boat thing. Do you jumpstart boat boats? Thing. Well, you know what. Theoretically, I never have that problem because I, since it's a boat and you can be far from land, I, I make sure every boat I have is always equipped with dual batteries, with an isolator, so that one battery always has enough power to start the engine. You are a very so I, wise I, I man. So I tend not to need a jump. Yeah. That's smart, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so, too. Ah. <sighs> So, tomorrow, my car thing, and uh, I will see you then. I'll be here. D-A-I-L-Y. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It makes its own gravy. Yeah.